and the Lady Jacks are four-time conference championships. That's a four-peat, Patrick. Incredible stuff by the Lady Jacks. night here in Nacogdoches. It was an electric night. It was really special uh, to be able to put our players in a position uh, to play big games and potentially uh, win championships, but then to do that uh, on a night where we're at home, bonfire, uh, a fantastic crowd, uh, homecoming festivities, the success that other programs this fall have had, you start layering on all of those uh, intangibles that uh, ultimately you know you can't you know ever script. I feel like a lot of people know how good we are but to actually see it all in motion is what makes it such a great experience so to have 2,000 plus people at a game uh, and see us win such a spectacular thing was just an amazing feeling and homecoming weekend everyone's families all of our friends all of our old friends who did play here um, getting to see that you know they left a legacy that we're upholding winning with everyone holding the four peat signs <laughs> it was really awesome and then all of our families were there and friends coming in your freshman year you don't really expect to win four years in a row and like that first win the first year is just an indescribable moment and then you win it four years and it's just an awesome special thing. Obviously winning conference was it's a good way to end my last year. It's it, it means a lot. It means a lot from the positions that this program, this administration, the the previous coaching staff because you got to remember those uh, juniors and seniors this year had that change kind of mid mid run there and uh, so to continue to put them in a position to be successful and then for them to execute says a lot about the character uh, on this team, it says a lot about the recruiting, it says a lot about the teaching and the development process through the school year. Uh, and what, I, what I'm really excited about is it says a lot about where we're going uh, as a program in the future. Definitely a lot of pressure with that. I mean, every year it gets harder. Like, we're the team that everyone wants to beat. So going into every game, like, they might be one of the last ranked teams, but this is their game to make it to the tournament, or this is their game to just play another game. So there's a lot of pressure with that, but we train hard every single week, and we prepare for that, so we're ready. For me, it means that we're good enough. We have the great mentality to do it. We, we have the team confidence to do it. And everybody on the team is playing for each other, which is what I tell everyone before we go out on the field is make sure you play for each and every player today. Be with us and make sure that everyone is mentally and physically here on the field. I've been playing soccer for 18 years, and I'm only guaranteed three more games in my career. So every game that gives me a chance to play one more game, I'm definitely going to give everything I have and do everything I have to make sure we keep playing. You know, we want to go into the NCAA tournament and get that, that win and show everyone that Mm, you may think that we're okay, you think that we're good, but we want to be able to beat top teams in the country. It's 1-0, it's just, it sucks. So um, to go from there, we want to be able to say that we've done it and we've made history. Uh, I tell you what, they may not understand the gravity of those skill sets that they've acquired over the last four years and really tested over the last two years. Uh, but when, when they graduate, move on to their careers and with their families, there's no doubt they'll appreciate them then. Just being the first ever class to win four straight championships, it's pretty awesome. It's been pretty awesome to be with them and have them around me um, surrounded with, with greatness and us as our talent. I think that when we came in here, we didn't know what we would do. We didn't think that you know we'd go four straight years in the running of making you know history. I hope that our legacy you know, will be for everyone to continue that and one to keep winning. It shows how much our school and how much our program has grown over the past few years, and it's it's amazing to be a part of that. I just feel like our class, I mean, we've given it 110% our whole four years here. We've set records. We've gone undefeated in conference at least two years, hopefully a third. Um, I just feel like we've done a lot to get to that point, and we want to finish strong. It's making sure that we remind our players that now, you know, it, everything matters a little bit more. There's a little bit less margin for error. And so our players appreciating the finality that is approaching. And it's nothing to get nervous about. It's nothing to avoid. And I'm one of the type of coaches that there's nothing that we can't talk about. We talk about winning a championship all year. Because if a championship is so delicate that you have to whisper about it, then we're not the team that I think we are. And that goes into postseason preparation as well. We're not going to hesitate. Everyone understands what postseason is. Now we just got to make sure that nothing changes except we appreciate the opportunities to impact a game and understand the margin for error is a little bit less.